So Rob, the Rams are just two years removed from the Super Bowl. They have a top 10 defense. You know firsthand from your years with the Patriots how critical that defense is to a team's title hopes. Now, what kind of difference is it going to make for the Rams having Stafford at the helm in that McVay offense? Well, I think it puts them at the top of the list for contenders for the Super Bowl. And, and you think of McVay and his creative offense, the things that he can implement. Um, I think it's a great fit for Stafford, understanding that he really hasn't had an opportunity in Detroit to maximize his abilities. Yes, he's been a really good quarterback for a long time. You can almost guarantee if he's healthy, he's going to throw for over 4,000 yards and over 20 touchdowns. So I just think that it's a great match for both the head coach and Matt Stafford. Plus that defense, they're going to be really good. I mean, golf just three TDs and a pick on throws of 20 plus yards downfield last season. Stafford had six TDs and no picks. You got to figure McVay is going to be able to do some things with Stafford that he couldn't do with golf. Jay? What are your thoughts on if Jared Goff can regain his Pro Bowl form and be the Lions' long term answer at quarterback? I think it's going to be really hard. I mean, the, the draft picks do help having um, the, the, the draft equity being able to go out there and get maybe a big time receiver to help you out. But, you know, with the Rams, I felt golf had some stability. He had a great head coach to help him, to, to mentor him, to push him in the right direction. Um, which plays should we run here, coach? And he was able to give him um, the proper stuff to go out there and succeed. So I think the instability with Detroit, and we've seen it for a long, long time here. Detroit seems to always constantly have an issue from the top to bottom. And I think it's going to be really hard for him to go into, especially a place with a new coach, um, new coordinators, new GM. Everything is new, new city, new place, new jackets, because it's a little chilly in Detroit. Yeah. Um, it's just going to be tough for him to just go there and have success. It's, it's definitely going to be a challenge. We're joined now by senior NFL reporter Jeremy Fowler. So Brad Holmes, the new GM for the Lions, who made this deal, he came from the Rams. He had been there in various yeah. roles since 2003. Can you take us behind the scenes on how this got done? Well, Hannah, the Rams made clear they were so desperate to upgrade to the quarterback position for a player of Matthew Stafford's caliber they were willing to pay a premium to get it done because they had no first-round pick this year. They were saddled with Jared Goff's contract of $43 million guaranteed over the next two years. So Detroit said, hey, we'll work around those parameters, but you're going to have to pay a steep price to make it happen. And so while other teams involved, Washington, I'm told, Denver, San Francisco, many others, they knew they had to give up one first-round pick. But the Rams were willing to give up the two firsts and a third future pick plus Jared Goff to make it happen. No team could top that. You couple that relationship Brad Holmes has with Les Snead, the Rams GM. They worked together for a long time, as you mentioned. And then Matthew Stafford gave his blessing on this trade, too. The Rams, I'm told, were one of the teams he wanted to play for. He wanted to pair with Sean McVay's offensive mastermind and get crazy with the play-action offense. And so he's just as excited as the Rams are. Seems like a perfect fit. Yeah, not to mention that top 10 defense. I think if you look at quarterback gigs around the league, that is definitely one of the best. And, you know, you mentioned those first round picks. Well, now the Rams have traded away seven consecutive first round picks all the way up to 2023. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.